We're here at Sheraton Masana Villages in Orlando, Florida, and I'm outside the Amelia phase. We're going to go in here and take a tour of the one bedroom villa coming right up. Let's head inside and check it out. All right, so as you come into the unit here, is the larger one bedroom unit here at Sheraton Bastana Villages. But just inside this door, you do have the in-room laundry, something that all one bedrooms actually have. But something that all one bedrooms don't actually have is the full larger kitchen here in these units. Same size essentially as the two bedroom kitchens. You have your double sink here, stainless steel, over here you do have a dishwasher. You do have all of your cutlery and whatnot. Do you need, well, not in that drawer. Let's see this drawer, yep, there you go. Your silverware looks like probably four, well, there's five forks there. And some more empty drawers. Probably have sort of things here. <laughs> We're kind of batting zero. Oh, there we go. There is some cooking utensils there. You have a wine bottle opener, flippers, corkscrew, all that kind of stuff in there. And in here, just some additional cooking utensils. Underneath here, looks like where we'll find the pots and pans. There is a non-stick skillet back in there. Nothing over there. Let's see what we got under here. There we go. We have some mixing bowls, colander. You do have a pitcher there and a measuring cup and it looks like an orange juicer there as well we also have here your full oven with cooktop range and a microwave oven up there as well and over here you do have your full size refrigerator and freezer so the only one bedrooms that actually have that full size refrigerator and freezer let's see what we got here we have some shelves which Looks like this was probably left behind by the previous guests. Some Weber seasoning salt for the grill. Not sure why housekeeping didn't take that. There's a mixer. There's a coffee maker. Knife block and toaster. And in here, it looks like dinnerware for four people. So you have dinnerware for four. The room does actually hold four. It looks like you have glassware for four here as well, except there's only three plastic cups there. All right, let's now go into the living area. You have the dining room area here. A couple of stools up against kind of the kitchen bar here, it's kind of handy. And you have table for six people. Now, like I mentioned, this is a one bedroom. There was only place settings, essentially for four. And you have seating for six. Well, that's because there is actually a lock off door here that goes over to the small one bedroom here at Sheraton Vistana Villages. I've done a number of tours of those. I'll put a link to one of the resort tours for that small one bedroom right up there. But yeah, you do have a dining room table for six. So over here it sleeps four, over there it would sleep four. So technically you could have up to eight. They have their own dinnerware, glassware and silverware over there as well. So you can kind of mix it up if you're staying in the full two bedroom. But the one bedroom here does have Pull out sofa, it will pull out into a queen size bed. Couple of end tables. This one over here kind of has a handy little exposed USB and power outlet. They do have some neat artwork on the wall. These are fairly recently renovated units. All of this in here is pretty new and uh, really nice. I did do a full two bedroom kind of before and after video of the Amelia phase here. So if you want to see that video, I'll put a link in the upper right but really nice big flat screen television and a bose sound system i do see three remotes so is there potentially a dvd player i don't see one so i'm not sure what these three remotes are i have a bose i have a bose and one for the lg television so not really sure what the deal is there out here is the patio. We'll take a look at that towards the end of the video. I wonder what's in this door though. Oh, looks like a little storage closet. You have your iron ironing board and also a laundry basket. Okay, now let's head in and take a look at the bedroom. So in here you do have a king size bed, a couple of nightstands, 
they do have exposed USB and power and again really nice large flat screen LG television atop a dresser there with six drawers those are actually pretty good size I believe you can get lots of items in there when you unpack do have a nice window there to the outside and then moving a little bit further in here we're gonna head in and take a look at the bathroom large jetted tub here so they haven't taken those away at least not yet and then over here you do have a single vanity so kind of in this separate little area from kind of the main bathroom you have this vanity and you also have a full-length mirror and like I pointed out a second ago that jetted tub some more artwork on the walls some decoration there too and then as we move in here we have a number of towels this is a separate little room it actually kind of divides off with this kind of barn style door it's kind of neat it's pretty heavy really cool design on it there but you do have another single vanity lighted mirror plenty of towels and a separate walk-in shower here so you have a shower head there and the pump soap shampoo and conditioner on the wall and we'll go in here now and take a look at the water closet just has a toilet in here with some additional artwork and towels and well kind of a little pocket door there to close that off for some privacy okay so now that we've seen the inside of the unit let's go out and take a look at the patio but looks like on the way out I'm noticing this hadn't pointed this out already just another closet here in the bedroom area lots of extra linens most likely to be used for the sleeper sofa but you could use them on the bed in here as well and where you'll also find the in-room safe and looks like they have a luggage rack down there for us as well but now it's time to head out and take a look at the patio open that up make sure there's nothing over there that we need to worry about we'll just unlatch it here and open it up and head outside yeah so out here we have four chairs and a patio table light over there on the wall and an overhead ceiling fan these rooms these patios are all screened in so no worry about any bugs and we have a nice little view out to the lake here and the saint augustine phase beyond we're in amelia one other thing i am noticing is we do have an electrical outlet so if you want to uh, do some work outside on the patio well help yourself so there you have it the one bedroom villa here technically the one bedroom large side the premium side of the two bedroom lock off kind of curious do you have a trip planned here in the near future love to hear all about it down in the comments below and if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up really does help with these videos and to see more videos all about timeshare check out the description box below and for another video from here at Sheraton Bassano Villages in Orlando, Florida. I'm gonna put a link to the Amelia two bedroom before and after. They actually did some fairly recent renovations. It's been a little over a year, I guess, maybe almost two years, but I did do a before and after video. You can take a look at that by clicking on it right here. Thanks for watching and until next time, remember the best destination is always a timeshare.